everyone, my name is Alex, and this is my art channel. Today I'm talking about five different things that I've used for some of my different paintings. Tools that may seem pretty random, but they actually work. first tool I always use in every painting is music. Music influences my mood when it comes to my art, and sometimes it influences my art itself. And if anyone's been a fan of my channel or knows me personally, you know I'm a big fan of music. Music can help you relax, or it can help make you more passionate. Two tools that I like to use in painting are white charcoal pencils and colored pencils. Now I'll talk a little bit later about the white charcoal pencils, but the colored pencils are great, not at the painting itself, but for my practice sketches, plotting and laying out where I want things to be. They're also great at judging what colors I want to use for what areas of a painting. Do I want to see what this place would look like in blue versus red? or green versus yellow. Color pencils help give you a better planned idea of what your vision will look like before you finish actually painting it. One trick I saw from another YouTuber quite a few years ago was using takeout lids. Now takeout lids are a great cheap way for holding paint and using it like a mini palette. And when you're done, the paint is easily removable when it's dry. Then you can use it all over again. Cups and jars are other great tools for holding water, paint, or paint brushes or other art supplies. You can use them for paint if you have quite a, quite a large volume of paint and a cup is an easier way to distribute and hold it as opposed to a takeout container. Although these have a lot of different uses, most of the time I just use jars for holding my different art supplies in. Next, we have a couple of weird brush alternatives I like to use. Things that include it are paper towels, sponges, toothbrushes, and debit cards. Sponges are a great way for blotting and drying and distributing paint, while at the same time, they're super absorbent, so that way, you're only distributing what you want. This debit card trick was one I learned a couple years ago from another YouTuber. They're a great way for spreading paint out in a nice even manner. They also help create nice lines like they do here in Social Bay. Paper towels act as a great dry brush. They are easy to help 
blot out and absorb some of the paint so they can add a little bit of their own texture. Toothbrushes are another great tool to use as an alternative brush. Why? Because depending on the grade you get, you could either get one that's a little bit more softer or a little bit more firmer. But either way, they provide a nice area for making a splatter background, such as, for example, the spray from a beach, or some other sort of spray-like pattern that is easy to use because of the brush shape of the toothbrush. White charcoal pencils are perfect for outlining things that have already been painted or planning where you want to paint next. They're perfect because you can easily cover them up with the paint you plan to use and they don't stick to the actual paint itself. So when you want to change your mind or just erase what you've already done in white charcoal pencil, you can just get a damp rag and wipe it away and it's as good as new. Another alternative thing I use is eyedroppers. These things are perfect for creating a runny effect or for pushing a little burst of air just to help change the direction of the paint and create some new different flows with it. As you can see in this example and in the one I'm painting. Two different ways of using the same tool. I hope you liked this today. I know it's not a normal time-lapse video, but every now and then I like to shake things up. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.